Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology Channel and talking about uh, Microsoft Edge and removal of bloatware um, and what is apparently a kind of a blunder on the part of Microsoft. We are learning that um, a lot, if not almost everything that you visit through Microsoft Edge is being sent uh, via the Bing API to uh, Microsoft servers um, on the Bing servers. So what happens is that you visit pages and um, a lot of it, if not all of it, except a few things depending on a list are um, going through. And uh, this is actually apparently to um, a, a bug that Microsoft says it's kind of a bug that happens because of the way that it wants to interact with the content you have to try to help you get the content you want. But it's just kind of uh, embarrassing and, of course, has a privacy uh, side to it because, um, you know, you visit web pages and, um, well, all of that is going through Microsoft servers and it's maybe not a good idea or maybe you're not interested in that. But there's a way to actually uh, change it so that it doesn't happen. And it's a simple fix that you can do within Microsoft Edge. So if you're a user of Edge and you're worried about the pages you visit being sent uh, to the Bing servers, um, well, go on to the upper right corner in the three dots in Microsoft Edge. Go down to the settings. On the left side, you will go into Privacy Search and Services. And here you're gonna go way down until you see in the last uh, parts of suggestions, there's something called show suggestions to follow creators in Microsoft Edge. And it says, we'll suggest content creators you can follow in Microsoft Edge based on creator's profile. This is apparently where it's all happening. So what you do is you just turn this off and apparently it stops the leaking of all the web pages uh, that are being uh, sent to the uh, servers, uh, the Bing servers. So um, basically what happens is that the visited URLs of your websites via Bing APIs, um, it, it, it's unknown actually what um, it is happening here and, and why it does that. Uh, so it's interesting to see that these are creator kind of features that are kind of hidden away and we don't really talk about it much. So uh, there's things like that that you can remove and I suggest that you uh, do remove at least this one and, and take a look at the other settings also. Uh, maybe there are other things that you don't want. For example, if you don't want to have to save time, money and shopping and Microsoft websites and Microsoft Edge, sorry, you can turn this off. You won't have any more suggestions of you know money you can save or where you should go shopping and so on. So you can take a look at the other settings and the services here. Uh, and, um, you know, the less services, of course, you use here, the less information is sent out from Microsoft Edge. So um, kind of uh, embarrassing little moment, especially for Microsoft Edge, when Microsoft is always saying that they're uh, kind of privacy concerned here. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.